Beats too. We got a mixed bag of stories for you. Me, I'm off to dodgeball, so I need a team. You in? I'm far too busy. What's up, guys? I'm Corinne, and today I'm learning to perfect the perfect cupcake. So I'm gonna meet Vanessa Etty from Bella Cupcakes. Remember, if you wanna watch us, you can do it 24-7 online right here. Talia, sugar, onto it. What is up, people? I'm Sammy, and today I catch up with singer Royala for a little bit of soul. But before her, I find out about sleeping rough on the streets with homeless youth. There's more sugar. I know. Sam, do you want to be in our dodgeball team? Dude, hard out. Mike, you want to be in our dodgeball team? Woo, definitely. Hi, I'm Mike, and remember, if you're not already a friend online, jump on the Facebook and join us. Okay, so that's three for our team. We still need three more. Okay. Well, how many friends we got online? Uh, we've got about 4,700. Maybe we should ask some of them. Okay. Bro, I gotta go, man. Hey, 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 hey. Can you please put these in the recycling on your way out? You know what? I can do better than that. I'll take them with me. We're off to recycle glass. Send me some cupcakes. Technology. Aotearoa, oh, say what's up to Karen. Malo lele. Malo lele. So, Karen, how long has OINZ been going for? We've been based at uh, Penrose plant here for, since 1922. So, like, once I put my bottles in my recycling bin, where does that go? It gets picked up by collectors all up and down New Zealand, comes back to us into our furnaces as recycled glass. Is this stuff here? Is that stuff which we call cullet. And why is it important to recycle glass? Well, it's, there's a lot of benefits. It reduces the waste that goes out to the landfill. We also have fewer carbon emissions because glass remelts at a lower temperature, so we're saving on energy. Right. And the other thing is, it's a sustainable product. So one bottle coming back in goes back out. So, is that right? Yeah. So what sort of glass does OANZ produce? We make uh, bottles and jars predominantly, and we do make wine bottles, beer bottles, food containers. I heard a little rumour that you guys are pretty good. How much glass do you actually recycle? Over 80,000 tonnes, that was last year. So with our new furnace that's going in, we expect to um, increase that significantly. Now, every week we get like these quick fire questions from our audience. Can I hit you up really quickly? Bring it on. Glass or steel? Glass. Bottles or jars? Bottles. Rugby or league? Rugby. All blacks or ikaletahi? Ikaletahi. East side or west side? East side. Guys or girls? Guys. Rihanna or Beyonce? Beyonce. Melt in the pocket or melt in your mouth? Melt in your mouth. Oh, damn. Sweet. <laughs> What's up, Pat? Hey, Mike. What's up, bro? Good, good, man. What do you do up here? Uh, I'm like a chef. You're like I, a chef? Uh, put all the recipes in to make the glass. So you make, like, one big chocolate cake? One big chocolate cake. What are your ingredients? Recycled glass, sirash, lime, and... Sand. Now, once it's all nicely melted and everything, what happens to it? Uh, it goes down from the furnace into our forming machines, into the moulds, and that's into how the water moulds. How long have you worked here for? Oh, 15 years. 15 years? Yeah, man. <laughs> and what do you love about working up here? The people, eh? That's good. That's good, this place. Hey, how are you? Good, good. Siwi. Yes, Siwi is my name. From Papua New Guinea. Yes, mate. I am from Papua New Guinea. Now, these bottles have gone through a mean ass process. Can you tell me where they've just come from? It comes through a layer. It's like a tunnel. But during that process, it hits the bottle up, it cools it down. Make it stronger. Yeah, make it stronger that you can handle it when you're drinking out of it. So, what do these machines do to it? They've got cameras mounted on them. And what they do is they inspect the bottle from the top down to the bottom. Right. Yeah. To make sure that it's perfect. Yes. And then what do you do? I check for uh, visual defect. And you've got tons of bottles coming out right now. Where do they go to from here? To me, Vanua, to Fiji, Samoa, Tonga. Right. Solomon Islands, Papua New Guinea, and our rum bottle goes to uh, Jamaica. You make Jamaica's rum bottle? Yes, we'll make it right here, brother. <laughs> right here. Bro, that's me. And that's glass recycling. It saves energy and conserves our resources. Thanks to all the guys and girls of OINZ for showing us around. Come on, New Zealand, keep it green and recycle! Oh, oh, oh. Want to win this $50 warehouse voucher? 
text PBS space your answer to 244 and the 50th text wins. Question is, what was Mike recycling in his last story? Oh, Corinne, this looks good. Sam, did we find someone for our dodgeball team? Sure did, sis. Check him out. Jojo nominates the Bay Roscoe Women's League. Pick three from there because they got some mean skills. Uh, Veta wants us to pick her son, Lawrence Lopepe, because he's the captain of the under-13s Odohu Leopards. And Anne wants us to pick her husband, Mike, because he's her big Samoan king. Put him up the front. Try those, guys. I got a flyer. I'm meeting up with cupcake maker Vanessa to swap recipes. Mmm, yeah. What? Fashion. If you want a muffin, you come to a bakery like this. But if you want an exquisite piece of handcrafted art, then you should go and visit our sister, Vanessa Eti. Everyone, meet Vanessa Malosis. Hi. <laughs> now we're here to talk about cupcakes. And I've come to help you make cupcakes while we talk about it. Yeah, absolutely. So where do we start? OK, um, I've got kind of everything all ready to go. So how did you actually get into making cupcakes? My daughter's first birthday, so, yeah, did lots of research and made this cupcake tower, and everyone was like, wow, that is awesome. How is this art? When I tell people I'm in the cupcake industry, they kind of give me this look. And when they see it, they're like, oh, my God, that is what you do, and it's like, yeah. So you actually make everything from scratch? Yeah, the cupcake mix, you know, my buttercream, all my decorations are handmade. So you've got these individual cupcakes and then you build them into things like wedding towers? Yeah, cupcake fresh. towers. You know, you could have between like 20 to like, you know, 200 cupcakes on a cupcake stand. What are people's most favourite flavours? Um, chocolate mud and white chocolate, probably most popular. My favourite is a spiced banana. Oh, yeah. Oh, white chocolate raspberry is also another top one. D do guys like eating cupcakes? Oh, they love eating cupcakes. They just wouldn't admit it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> They're behind the scenes biting into it. Yeah. All right, should we put our cupcakes yep. in? OK, we'll put them in. Can we talk a little bit about the detail on these decorations? How do you actually create them? Like the kinners and stuff actually have, actually have like a silicon mould, um, but it's just white and then I've um, painted and dusted it with like luster dust. The jandals are kind of just handmade. My cows are handmade. Yay! Cupcakes. Just pick up your cupcake and start from the middle, kind of do a glob, and then you just swirl it around. Oh, that's so pretty. Just go right up to them. Oh, lovely. <laughs> you, like, <laughs> you like a lot of icing. <laughs> so, you, you want to do another? You lovely thing to pick up. That's not oh, how it works, I, Vanessa. That's beautiful. <laughs> Yours look really beautiful. It's our little Pacific cupcake. Yeah. There you go. I love that. Thanks so much for having us here mm, today, Vanessa. Thanks for coming over. And if people want to find out more about you, they can just check out this website here. Yep, absolutely. All right, thank you. Shout out to all our mates back here over in Waitak. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, just like to make a shout out to Matt Razzlefin, Matt Watts and the JP boys. Don't forget Sam Den. Keep talking to us, peeps, and if you can't do it personally, then send us your thoughts or your vids online. Coming up after the break, I find out what it's like to be homeless. And Team Pacific Beat Street plays some dodgeball with some new members of our family. Ooh, ooh and soul singing Sister Royala is here at our folly. Pacific Beat Street.